If I'm going to change things, I'm going to need allies. Allies with power. Blessed be the fruit. By His Hand, season three of The Handmaid's Tale is streaming now on Hulu. And if you aren't caught up, what are you even doing? We are obsessed here. <laughs> We're so excited to be joined now by one of the stars. Welcome, O.T. Fagbenle. How are you? I'm great. Thanks Less for coming in. Yeah, Great to thanks. see you. I always love talking to Handmaid's Tale uh, cast members because it's so nice to see you in a good mood and things yeah. like a real right. person. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah right? I know. Right? Handmaid's, I'm always depressed. You know, it's always <laughs> going down the hill. But you let's got... let's talk about this Luke storyline. Kind of taking some turns uh, this season. Spoiler alert: You're taking care of June's love child. So yeah. there you go. When you first get the script and read through the season, what went through your head? Well, you know, it's interesting. I think, you know, in my own family, there are lots of examples of kids who've been brought up by people who are not their biological parents. And so it kind of connects to me on a, on a personal level, you know, your biological family versus your logical family, I guess. And um, yeah, it's a very complex thing because you have a great duty to look after an innocent young person, but the way they came about may not be so innocent. Not so yeah. innocent at all. And then you're in most of your scenes with Elizabeth Moss, Samira Wiley, two powerhouse female. Yeah. I mean, they're amazing. So how has you know working with them kind of changed or affected you? Oh, I mean, loads. I mean, Lizzie in particular, who I worked with a lot in the first season, she's just so extraordinary. She's so real and she kind of has just this intolerance for things which aren't genuine and so if the scene isn't working if, if something doesn't feel like it's right she will just you know stop it and we'll change the lines we'll change the set whatever needs to happen to make it authentic and so that really gave me a lot of confidence as an artist you know what when watching something and, and you see it gel really well the characters the actors and all of that it makes me wonder about the pre-show rituals what you do to kind of like make sure that chemistry exists and that right, it works right. what is it for for you guys what is what's your like pre-game hey it's a day of shooting <laughs> how do we get in the zone i mean they're long days i mean you know what, to be honest, with, with Lizzie, we're really lucky because we really get on and we get on in the show. And so, so that kind of works out. But for me personally, I went to drama school and we have all these kind of techniques, you know, like the method and stuff like that, either listening to music or remembering something which is traumatic or something like that to try and get yourself in the right frame of mind for something. So it turns out you're professional actors. That's the yeah. answer. You know how to do this. Yeah, yeah, Makes right. sense. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes you're, I guess you're always just trying stuff, you know, trying to push yourself. So I'd never think that like I've got my, the technique down. I'm always trying to explore as an artist. Yeah. Well, then afterwards, do you ever have to decompress because you're shooting such extreme and intense scenes? Mm, yeah, sometimes it does take a little bit to kind of recover from some things. but. Uh, yeah, for the, for the most part, you know, like filming days are so long, you have to focus your energy into the times you're shooting the rest of the time. You know, we kind of mess around a lot, to be honest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so your character spends a lot of time with kids on set. You're an uncle in real life. Yeah, so you have some practice over. there. Yeah. yeah, what's your strategy, though, for a long day with kids? Because I imagine that can be tricky sometimes. Well, you know, the funny thing is, like, I, I kind of, like, deal with kids from three years up. You know, once you can get the remote control for me, I'm your friend, and I can get, get on with the little kids, but babies I'm not so good with until mm -hmm. we started shooting. And I just, I fell in love with these a little bit. I didn't want to give them back to their moms. I was like, it's fine, it's fine, I'll take care of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so strategy-wise, we were really lucky. Those babies, they're like professional actors. You play cut, and the baby's like, all right, give me some coffee. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> they're in the zone. You yeah, from being exactly. like, eh, babies are fine to being obsessed with babies. That's I know adorable. a little bit. Like, I've just noticed, I've just been, I was looking at my Instagram, I was like, I only post me and babies. Like, I have somewhere <laughs> in the back of my head. I must be brilliant. Yeah, but you do, you've got, yeah, you're doing it in a charmed way. You get to have that kind of cool part, and then go on and live your life. And yeah, you want to you. Okay, take okay that's it. Yeah. Done. Yeah. We just had Amanda Bruegel in a few weeks ago. She was talking about the dance-offs that are going on oh, yeah. on set between the Marthas, the Handmaids, uh, the Wives, all the groups. Yeah, me and Amanda have had some personal dance-off, and this is a, and a direct challenge to Amanda, wherever you are. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm coming for you. So wait, you have already? Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, have? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Me and Amanda get down. She thinks she's got me. But she ain't got. She seems like she's got some moves, though. And we've moves. seen she some video now. To, uh, to be fair, she does have me. This, I just trash talk. You know, <laughs> groups, though. So, did you ever get in on that actual dance battle? You know battle? what? I felt, to be honest, I'm glad you brought it up. I felt really <laughs> left out by that whole thing. And uh, when I saw it, no, I loved it when I saw it. But I was like, hey, where's the Canada representation in this? You right? Mm -hmm. We wanted to help you work through it. That's yeah. why. That's why we really brought you here. Thank you. Today. What is your uh, What is your go-to dance move for these dance battles you have with Amanda? Um, well, you know, the running man. And the bogle were the first two dance Wait, the moves. Bogle. The I bogle know. is like, mm, mm. oh right, 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 yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So those are the two awkward dance moves. I was never really much of a dancer. And you're keeping the Running Man alive. That's good. Hey, listen, somebody has to. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of my philanthropic <laughs> offering. Team here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, oh, there it goes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but if you're Don't get me started. You know. Get them going. Um, 
Um, you have, <laughs> let me, how's this for a transition? Many reasons to be dancing. Here's one. It's just announced you're going to be starring alongside Scarlett Johansson, the new Black Widow movie. Well, I've, I've heard that rumor. Yeah? <laughs> it's been announced, right? It's out there. <laughs> Well, you know, I've been told by brighter minds than me that I shouldn't open my mouth. I'm always getting myself in trouble, you see. That you shouldn't be speaking about these things? There are some things that should not be spoken about mm. until some later time, apparently. I can't confirm well, or deny it. When it comes to keeping, okay, tight-lipped on that, right. With when it comes to that world and right. those types of movies. But Handmaids, you have to be tight-lipped as well, right? When it comes to future plot points and what's coming up. I feel like that would be difficult. Yeah, well, you know, the thing is, is that I think for me, it's more like the fans don't want to know things early. Like, I, I can hardly watch trailers for movies because I'm like, oh, I can see what's going to happen. So I think, I think, you know, spoilers kind of do spoil. Um, so I try as much as I can, but I, I'm so enthusiastic about it. I sometimes spill the beans. Uh, yeah. Hopefully I, I won't do so. that today. Yeah. Okay, but back to this rumor about the Black <laughs> Widow thing. No, but did you, right. so you met Scarlett Johansson. What was that meeting like? You guys are troublemakers. <laughs> I was, when, you know, <laughs> first I was like, okay, he's the troublemaker. And then I see you sneaking. Ah, uh, you thought that you, you were getting away. Do you away, know what kind it? of security, apparently, allegedly, Marvel have over their stuff? Mm. You know. I just yeah. would think that if in some dream world that you would work with her what do you think would be great about being you know in a, in a scene with Scarlett Johansson well in I mean it, well in in theory she's amazing actress you know yeah. I mean she really is I'm a big fan of her work I think Lost in Translation was the first thing I saw her in and uh, yeah so she's she's very magnetic so right. that would be a, a treat to be able to work <laughs> with her are you ready to get off the hot seat and play a game oh yeah. my god I'm let's, all about games let's do it okay. all right we're gonna play this a little, is a little game called Fish and Dish. All right. Have you ever played this? No, no. Okay. Well, get ready. Your mind's about to be blown. Yeah, this is going to be... Okay. If you reel in a purple fish, you have to answer a career question. Red fish means love life. Yellow fish, miscellaneous. Orange fish are for party questions. Green means you get to ask us a question, which I'm sure you're really anxious to Dying do. To which ask is the question. love life one? Uh, red. Okay. Ooh. Is that what to avoid? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, got, I think... Yellow. Oh, yellow. oh no. Does that count? Does no, count? it has to come all the way. Oh, you have right, to okay. let it linger. Boom! There, there we go. Nice. Got it. Yellow. All right. Biggest pet peeve. My biggest pet peeve, I guess, is I go. I guess manipulative advertising. You know, like the human brain is so mm. supple. Like on online, they kind of like. They, I don't know. They, I just see different ways that we're Do kind you of fall forced for those to. Traps? No, I'm, 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 I read this book called Predictably Irrational. It's by this guy called Dan Arley, and it's all about the ways that the human mind can be easily manipulated by the powers that be. So now you see yeah. it for what it is. Yeah, exactly. The scales have come off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see you, reptile people. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I think a red one's calling your name. Oh, yeah, red one, red one. How do I get a red one? Uh, oh, oh, hello. Oh, oh that, that is a good uh, strategy, though, to loom. Oh, really? Choose, choose one and wait. Purple. Okay, purple career. Best career advice you've ever gotten? I guess, you know, just to, to, well, someone once told me, if you're early, you're on time, and if you're on time, you're late, and if you're late, then you're yeah, in you're trouble. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, good advice. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 was, I was yeah, I never lived by it, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sounds great in theory. <laughs> okay, wait, I'm not good at this game. Yet. Okay, no, boom. you're actually really, oh, you're actually really good at better it. Better than most. Honestly. All right, orange, orange is party. So Netflix and popcorn or night on the town. I'm a Netflix and popcorn guy, unfortunately. You know, if I go out, I want to go out hard, but. Otherwise, I like to chill. Yeah. Oh, probably more like, like... But to be honest, I'm more of a Hulu and yeah. That's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. More time. Those, again, the red ones are seeming... Oh, oh wait. Oh, that, that, this... The worst. All right, I see you. The green's Sometimes the you have to romance the green ones, I can see. Yeah, they're very... Oh, wow. Well, okay. Very well, combative. It, okay. All right, none of them are really opening... Okay, what's this? Boom. Yellow okay. again. All right, here we go. Um, how about favorite feature on yourself? Your favorite thing about yourself? Like oh, 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 a feature. Yeah. I guess I like to think I'm very optimistic. Oh, that's a yeah. good one. Yeah, you yeah. seem very optimistic. I am, I am. I believe in the glass half full, you know. Uh, my, my top tip is that I, I do gratitude lists. There's this great app called Five Minute Journal, and then every day it kind of prompts you and says, write three things you're happy about, and it lifts your mood. How about yeah. this, so different with the features? Is there something that you can communicate as an actor, a feeling, an expression, with just using your face that you are very proud of and you think you do well? Uh, <laughs> 
Is it the smolder? Do uh, you have that? Or? No, no, you, you know you know what? It's kind of like the way I was taught is that you shouldn't think about your face too ah, much. Ah, right. Because then you'll overdo it. Yeah, and also it's not natural because that's not the way, like if I'm talking to you, if I want to communicate something, I feel it and then it's communicated. If I try and communicate by doing my face, that's when you see someone's being false. You're overacting. Right. Makes sense. Yeah. Time for one more. All right. All right, last, last one. one. Where is the, let's get that red one. Oh, I missed it. Orange. <laughs> Orange. Wow, you killed this, by the way. You did a really okay. good job. Thanks a lot. Describe your ideal party outfit. Fit. You're a very fashionable guy. Oh, for me to wear or someone else to wear? Oh, <laughs> either way. Let's, yeah. yeah. Um, a real favorite party outfit. You know what? I would just have to say swimming shorts because if you're going to party, you'd want a swimming pool or a jacuzzi yeah. or so. That's the way I like it. A little beach party. party. Mm -hmm. Like it. Great okay. stuff. All right. Thank you so much. Thank hey, you. Pleasure. Great Guys, you, job with this, the fishing. Yeah, really Thank good you job. So Maybe the best ever. I have a new uh, vocation. <laughs> Catch OT and the Handmaid's Tale streaming on Hulu with new episodes every Wednesday.